Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yamashah Bashim Kakadash. The one is to the elder apostle, great millstone, citation, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this one called Esau is the last kingdom. Esau does not agree. Um, um, Esau Edom is the red Hebrew Edomite, um, the so called white man. Um, the Caucasians, um, they, um, they are ruling, um, this world, um, at the end of, of, at this time, they're in power, um, they're on the face of the money, um, they're, um, they're gonna be here when Shai makes his, They're gonna be here when Yahusha makes his um second appearance. Um, this is what their um this was their um their true state of original in history. This state of origin was they were the cave people in the Caucasus Mountains and the uh the land of Petra. Um they were they were um ones eating food out of skulls, having lice in their uh, hair, eating, you know, because that's what they used to do when they were in those caves. They would eat hair lice out of their their uh, hair. Um, that's what monkeys do. But they call us monkeys. But, yeah, they would they become very animalistic in their uh, original uh, their original um, state of, of existence, you know, you know, they would eat out of skulls of their ancestors. Um, but um, I'm gonna go to the scriptures. Uh, this is a uh, second edger six and verse nine it says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it." And they, you know, it's the end of an age of wickedness on the earth. Because the next that followeth is a world of Jacob, which is a world and beginning of an age that's going to last forever. Righteousness that's going to be on the earth. And the earth will be governed by righteous rulers forever. Um, this is um, Isaiah 63. Verse 1, it says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with thy garments from Basra? This, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. It says, Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel and thy garments that like him that treadeth in wine fat? And this is Yahweh Shai. He's coming, he's going to, um, what's the word? Uh, his garments will be drenched in the blood of Esau, Edom. Because um, Basra was a chief um, city in Edom. And the blood of the Edomites will be drenched on Yahweh's garments. Um, just like, um, it would look like he, he just came from, um, crushing wine, crushing grapes for wine. That's how, that's how drenched his, the blood of Esau will be upon his garments. Um, read verse three. I have tried in the wine press alone and of the people, there was none with me, but I will tread them in his, my anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood should be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain on my raiment. Um, and um, Esau, um, this you know, they're the daughter of Babylon. Uh, you know, um, this is um, Psalms one thirty seven verse one says, "By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down." Yeah. We wept when we remembered 
Zion, you know, because, you know, this is not talking about, you know, the Iraq, Babylon over there in the Middle East. This is talking about America, you know, which is Babylon. America is the daughter of Babylon, you know, um, because this place has not experienced, um, you know, major destruction, major war over here in, in the, you know, in this place. So this place is the daughter of Babylon, which will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction and, and laser beams from chariots. Um, I'm skip to verse 7. Um, remember, O Yahweh, the children of Edom, and the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art thou to be destroyed? Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dashed thy little ones against the stones. You know, because, you know, all the things that Esau, Edom has done to the children of Israel, they're going to be paid back double. It talks about that in uh, Revelations. Um, it's Revelations 18, verse 3. Um, it says, For all nations have drunk of the wines. Um, yeah. All nations have drunk. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath for her fornications. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I have heard, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have, remember, have remembered her iniquities, um, and reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, uh, double according to her works. And the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. You know, because he's going to receive double for everything he's done. Every atrocity, you know, he's done. He's going to receive double for. It says, for, he says, how much she had to glorify herself and live deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I see the queen. And am no widow, and she'll see no sorrow. It says, um, therefore shall her sorrow, because Esau believes he's not going to go down, his kingdom is not going to fall. Um, you know, like it says in um, Isaiah, it says the same thing. But um, actually, I'll read that. I'll read this. It says, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she sh and and she shall be utterly burned with fire, and for strong is Yahweh power who judges her. Um. But yeah, as strong is Yahweh and Yahshua who judges her. Um. But I'm gonna read the Isaiah because it basically speaks the same thing. But um. Yeah, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to read verse 6 and on to 10. Yeah, this is Isaiah 47, verse 6. It says, I was well from my people. I polluted my inheritance and given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Um, upon the ancient have thou verily laid thy yoke in um in james 2 and 13 he he will be showed no mercy because he showed no mercy um basically you know because he because the you know esau never showed any mercy towards anyone I mean, including the, the the very ancient age including the very young so why would he receive mercy in the future you know um the scriptures say he he shall have judgment Without mercy, because he showed no mercy. And mercy, you know, basically paraphrasing, 
from James 2 and 13. The point is, he's not going to receive mercy. I read verse 7 of Isaiah 47, verse 7, it says, And thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it. It says, Therefore, hear now this, thou that art given to pleasures that dwelleth carelessly, to saith in thy heart, I am and none else beside me. I shall not sit as a widow, neither shall I know the lost children. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. The loss of children and widowhood, they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries and for great abundance of thy enchantments. For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, and thou hast said, none seeth me. That thy wisdom, thy knowledge, it shall pervert, it, it has perverted thee, and thou hast said in thy heart, I am, and none else beside me. Yeah, because all those things is gonna come upon you and destroy your entire uh, nation and 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 this land. This place is not gonna last forever. You know, Esau, this place, your kingdom is gonna fall. Your kingdom is gonna be destroyed. It's not gonna last forever. It's gonna be obliterated. Out of existence along with you. But the but you know you know anyway uh, you know I'm a I'm a um end it right here. I'm I'm gonna say all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashin Yahsha Bashim Kakadash the one is to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Stay Taste Rock and Teach All Truth Sincerity and Shalom.